guys hello welcome to today's video today's video i'll be showing you how to cut an off shoulder bust here an off shoulder bust here and you can see i already have my starting point line drawn out my bust point my under bust then the waistline measurement and guys you know it's an off shoulder it's not going to start from our shoulder so here now the depth i have here is five and a half inches depth see this is the depth actually the depth I'm, I'm going for is six inches but you know as you are adapting directly on our fabric you need to start adding your allowances as well so by the time i sew this half an inch in on this upper part it will give us the exact six inches we are going for so my client's bust measurement is 11 half an inch that we're going to add on the upper side is gives us 11 and a half then yeah we have 16 yeah we have 19 our actual uh, under bust is 15 and a half plus half an inch 16 then 18 and a half uh, for the waistline but for the half an inch up uh, at the upper side there makes it 19 so the next thing we're going to um uh, do now is to find our nipple to nipple measurement my client's nipple to nipple measurement is nine inches divided by two we give us 4.5 plus half an inch you know we are directing directly on our fabric plus half an inch we give us five inches so you are going to mark five inches like this on your bust point the under bust then the waistline then you connect the three points you connect the three points then on your chest line here you have to come out by you had one inch to that five inches okay so making six inches so you come here like this you draw six inches like so you see then you join your bust point to your chest line this is it so you come to your under bust measurements you go in by half an inch half an inch on your under bust then also half an inch on the waist line then you come out here eh, by one and half this is one and half this is also one and have a swear then you join the two lines together as you can see now you come to your bust point you come down by one inch then you join this point to this point with a curve not a straight line guys please with a cough so that's if you have your hip cough you can use it as well then this point to this point you join with a straight line not a cough this time around a straight line so that's it then the next thing you're going to do is you come here you come up here by half an inch some people do one inch but me i'm doing half an inch then here like in by 0.7 as you guys can see 0.7 and this side to 0.7 you join this place to this place like so then this place to this place like so okay guys the next thing is to take our horizontal measurement my current bust measurement is 42 42 divided by 4 it give us 10.5 so you come here measure the 10.5 whatever you have here this is 1.5 you add it to it we are going to join this place by one inch you had the one inch I hope you guys are still seeing this. You had the one inch, then sewing allowance for sign seam allowance is 
is 1.5 so this is it that I measured out here then we come to the waistline our waist is waist 40 40 divided by 4 we have 10 inches you come here like this we mark the 10 inches here here we have 2 inches here that we are going to cut out we mark the 2 inches here we we'll had it up then we'll be joining this side to this side with 1 inch this is it here. The size seam allowance is 1.5. This is it here. So you join the waistline and the chest line together like so. Okay. Guys, the next thing I'll be doing is I'll be coming here. I'll be coming down by either half an inch or one it depends on how deep you want it to be but me i'll be coming down by one inch then join like this to this place and guys that's it the next thing we'll be doing is to cut it out okay before i forget guys since my own off shoulder you can leave it like this and cut it out and join it but since the one i'll be so making for my client to have have a sleeve okay so what i'll be doing is i'll come here this is the five and a half here i'll come down here by eight inches this is the eight inches okay then i will join here to this place And that is it or better still you can come here 2.5 you see starting from the 2.5 then you draw then the next thing for us is to cut this out like so And one other thing guys any sharp edges please make sure you blunt it out sorry make sure you curve it out so it won't be sharp again so this is it for one side Then you notch. Don't forget to notch. Then you come here as well. Like this. Then you do what you notch here and you notch here so guys this is it this is it guys we are done cutting so this is how it's looking now so the next thing is we'll cut the back okay guys for the back as you can see this is it this is my starting point this is my starting point from here to here is the zipper allowance which is 1.5 inches here to here is 1.5 inches for the zipper allowance and the same measurements we took <coughs> the same depth measurements we took for the front is the same thing we are using for the back as well so this is it guys as you can see then this is 
19 this is the bust point measurement and now as you can see i've my nipple to nipple measurements i've marked it out here yeah? then i took half an inch on both sides for the dart we are not going to cut it out we are just going to sew it like this then from the <coughs> excuse me from the bust point measurement i i had to come down by 1.5 from here to here is 1.5 so it's from there that started marking out my darts okay and guys you know for our bust measurement is bust 42 which i measure from here to here plus the sewing allowance 10 and 10.5 plus 1.5 will give us 12 then here 10 inches i marked it out there the one inch will be cutting uh, will be taken out here this is it then the 1.5 inches for the side seam allowance is well as well so i've marked it out then guys for the uh for the back um panel as well what i did here for this place is you come here like this let me use this one uh -huh. here now you come here like this then you mark even you mark it out like so this is what you are going to use to cut out the back panel the arm hole for the back panel so you use the front one to cut the back out then here yeah, see it depends on how deep you want it to be at the back yeah but me i'll be going with let me go with let's say let me see this is okay let's go with 1.5 this is 1.5 then you come like this okay. guys can you see it so this is it you go like this then we'll cut it out so that's it or you can also let me do one inch i'm not feeling this 1.5 that i did uh -huh. so this one inch is better okay so now we'll cut it out so Okay, just check if it's still recording. Okay. So guys, the next thing we'll be doing, come down to the waist line you come up by one inch guys come up by one inch one inch like this then you this 1.5 where your side seam allowance start from here i hope you guys can see it's this point here from here this point here from here you are going to draw a straight line to join the two points together i hope you guys are seeing it okay some of you might be wondering why am i doing this the reason for this is you know if if you don't do it there's this bulge that will come out from your zip at the back that will co that comes out that will make the zip to slip to lay flat on your back this waistline like this it will make the zip to follow the shape of our back this thing that i'm cutting sometimes some people don't even do it like this some people 
we take in half an inch here if it's a straight gun that doesn't have joining here you just come in by half an inch on this point then you join to the neckline okay but since this one has joining at the back i has joining at the down part so we just take the one inch here then cut like that so and that is it guys that is it so the next thing is for us to start sewing i hope you find this tutorial interesting i hope you enjoy it and i hope it's explanatory enough for you it is very simple and easy to cut it won't even take your time at all all right guys see you in my next video bye